Yesterday, I did a video showing how to keep the GameHub Lite APK file updated, so you don't have to keep checking its official GitHub project page to see if there is a new version. But in doing so, I learned that some of you aren't even familiar with what GameHub Lite is, let alone where it should be downloaded. So I wanted to dedicate a video today that shows you where you should and should not be downloading this application from. GameHub Lite is a modified version of the GameHub emulator. So that in and of itself tends to open the floodgates to imposters and malicious folks who want to take advantage of the situation. And there's actually a new website that's being shared lately with the domain name GameHubLite.com, but this is not hosted or owned by the people who are actively involved in this project. They seem to be imitating this project in an attempt to siphon off some ad revenue from that traffic. But this is also a nasty way for an exploit to be injected into the community as well. The download links listed on that webpage are not from the official source. As of right now, it's actually linking to a Mediafire download page and they should be treated as such. So do not trust them unless you have reason to do so. As of recording this video, the official GitHub project page for GameHub Lite is right here. The folks behind the project created a new GitHub user account for it. And while there are a few repositories to look through, it's the one labeled GameHub-OSS that is the home to this specific project. And I'll be sure to have this page linked down below so that there's no confusion out there as to where the official source is located. And to download GameHub Lite, we visit its official GitHub page, dive into the releases section, and then download the APK file directly from here. And you'll notice there are actually going to be three different files with each of them offering something a little bit different. So you're gonna have your base version of the app right here, and then you have an Antutu version and a PUBG version. Now, if you own a phone where the OEM unlocks its thermal throttling while using specific apps, which are usually apps like Antutu or PUBG, then you can choose one of these to install if you would like. It's usually not recommended since you will need external cooling to combat that excessive heat generation. But these options are there for those who want them. For everyone else, you'll just download the base APK file. This domain name squatting issue seems to be really prevalent within the Android emulation community lately. We've seen multiple emulator projects have their .com domain name snatched up while the people are actively working on it. And it's only going to take one malicious download link to be listed there for thousands of people to end up getting their private data stolen. So be cautious out there when you install an APK file from outside of the Google Play Store and make sure that you're aware of the official source when you choose to do so. Now, if you would, please give this video a like so more people can be made aware of it and subscribe to the channel too for more Android emulation content like this.